Thank you for tuning in to Wicked Turtle Network Exclusive. Follow us on all social media and also click the link tree in the description of this video. When clicking the link tree, you will be able to follow all of Wicked Turtle's social medias. Our Instagram, our Twitter, our Facebook, our YouTube. You might also be able to get access to the Wicked Turtle store. I also would like to take the time right now and welcome us as a brand new ambassador to raise energy drinks. Wicked Turtle has joined the hashtag Raise Rebellion with Raise Energy Drinks. Raise Energy Drinks gives you fresh, which stands for focus, recovery, energy, stamina, and hydration, with giving you no crash. Raise has zero sugar with electrolytes and BCAA aminos. So hashtag Raise Up and go to your local GNC or vitamin shop and pick up a can or go to repsports.com and order your Raise Energy Drinks and other athletic supplements in bulk and type in order code Wicked Turtle for 15% off your order and that code will be in the description of this video. The following Wicked Turtle Network presentation has strong language and strong content. Viewer discretion is advised. What are you talking what about? Up, peeps? What up, peeps? It's your boy, the penguin. And on the mic tonight, I got my buddy with the beaver weasel. That's right. The Duke. What's up, everybody? <laughs> it is the Duke. For our listeners, you can't see the beaver weasel. Can't see her, unfortunately, though. Oh, she's so good. I love her. She's a sleepyhead today. I've never met her, and I already love her. We gotta get you to meet her soon. Yes, yes, yes. We're gonna come up. I already told you. Probably after the new year, once once we get all yeah, the holidays and we start getting into the stale stuff of life, then we'll come up and start doing some more other things. I told you I want to do some more. Like I want to definitely go up there and do some reviews. I just don't yeah, have man. any reviews a lot. Like I just don't. I can't do a lot of more reviews here in Lebanon just because we're very limited on what we eat. Here, How about know? yeah. You have to make a day of it. Come up here and get some breakfast, get a lunch, and get some dinner before you head home. Wake up like Shit. five and come out, come up there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up like five and say, "Tell, tell the wife, hey, listen, I'm going up to, I'm going up to Williamsport." Hell yeah, man! I'm going up. But uh, all right, well, if catch a movie, some everybody shit. can see or hear. By the way, because if you're listening, yeah, we're doing a special episode tonight for the veterans, our veterans. Yes, sir. For all our military. So yeah, we salute you. By the way, salute you. And yeah, sir. For the people who can't listen, we do this have a nice little amium. background that says "Happy Veterans Day." Thank you for your service, and uh, that's for all active and retired and people who have perished. So if you have somebody that's, that's perished in war, we do still salute those people. POW too, no. Yep. So uh, yeah, let's get let's pay some bills. Let's pay some bills right now. Let's talk about Ray's so Wicked Turtle. Has joined the hashtag Raise Rebellion with Raise Energy Drinks. Raise Energy Drinks gives you fresh, which stands for focus, recovery, energy, stamina, and hydration, with giving you no crash. Raise has zero sugar with electrolytes and BCAA. BCAA. So raise up, hashtag raise up, and go to your local GNC or vitamin shop. Still saying those are still on the website. That's right. And pick up a can or go to repsports.com and order in bulk by using the code Wicked Turtle for 15% off your order. And that code will be in the description of, of the video. video. And that's the sound. Dude, he's already, that's he's already cracking crack it up. Yeah, right? I don't have any rays. I don't drink rays at night. We're doing this at nighttime, so I don't have any, any rays. Yeah, it's, it's probably not the best idea. To yeah, I'm trying to go to bed tonight. <laughs> it's probably not a good idea. I already jacked myself up with coffee today, so. But I've always been that kind of person. That this isn't. But it does, did you, doesn't affect me. What's like funny that. is, is they put out that that question about strawberry lemonade. 
I yeah. Want, I want some now. I want some too. Oh, by the way, pull your mic out just a little bit. All right. You're getting a little bit of feedback. There you go. All right. Yeah. Sorry about that. No, no. There you go. There you go. There you go. It's okay, the beard. It's the bearded one. That's what it is. It is. It happens. It happens. But uh, no, they asked about what was it? Um, strawberry lemonade. Uh, I think the, your Franken that you had was on there. Yeah, the Frankens. The white that. peach. And the white. I I want to vote for white peach to be honest. I, I, I got to try that. I can't make an honest vote until they have berries and cream. I got to have the berries and cream. Yeah. <laughs> berries and cream. I mean, I'm trying to find the white peach can. I got a whole bunch in here. <laughs> there we go. There's my white peach can. You never you never picked this up, did you? No, I want I wanted to though. Maybe they'll put it back on there. I really want to know what that secret flavor is you had. I'm going to try that one of these days. I really want to know what that I'll get, is. I mean, I'll get a permission from my uh, representative to share that if I can. I can. If not, sorry. I'll just let you know what it tastes. What, let everybody know what it tasted like. Or you could just to tell me. me all, you could just tell me off air. Oh, yeah, everybody. absolutely. That too. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I really, I, I kind of want to do it. I kind of want to do your subscription. Cause you I, have you have a bag, right? Did you get a bag? I sure did. Yeah. There we go. There it is. I think Look it was that. worth it. The bag, the shirt. Like I said, it was only an extra three ninety for me. You know what I would do is, I would get the four pack sampler of probably a berries and cream. You might need an extra four of them. Um, that's how I'm still drinking my Frank and Sours. I got about uh, what? Well, yeah, two left. So. And I got like 12 cans of those things, and I still have them. I mean, I, you can only drink so much of this stuff. Yeah, you're right. But you you are a connoisseur of energy drinks, right? Kind of, yeah. They're all right. Yeah. I am too. I'm more of a soda guy, but yeah. Because of Ray's, I am too. Because of Ray's, I'm definitely uh, yeah, I a I think connoisseur the, now. The, the week after Thanksgiving here, I'm going to order a case. Use that code. Get us some moolah back into our pocket there. I'm gonna get. To, I, I'm just gonna get a whole case of bubble gum, grape bubble gum. They I, have I, it. That's the biggest problem. They well, as of right now, they do. Maybe I was looking for it. Pronounce it. Yeah. Once I get the um, probably when I get the the problem is they come out with like a new flavor like every month and it's they like, do. It's like yeah, oh, okay. I guess I gotta try that one now. <laughs> mm -hmm. But that, yeah, I don't mind getting a case of the bubble gum if they have it because I, I think I I'm gonna do the not. four pack from now on because it's yeah, just dude. too much. It's just too much. Um, yeah, I'd probably just gonna do four packs from now on. Because yeah, I get a case that'll probably last me about two months. Well, I've had this Franken stuff since it came out, so I've, I've still I have two more oh, yeah, cans left, I think. But tonight in the uh, I just only drink it when we film. Yeah, might as well. I drink it. Hey. I usually drink it in the afternoon, so I don't have that crash. Right. Well, I don't get no crash with. Afternoon Wait. is my crash, man. That's that's when I get started tired. Yeah. So what a peeps cup tonight! I actually put in some uh, Jack's Hard Cider Peach. Ooh. This is a local brewery in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Sounds good. Jack's Hard Cider. I'll put the I'll put a link for them guys in the in the in description. The yeah. yeah. Yeah, and this is there it is in the what up peeps cup. We gotta get you a what up peeps cup. Yeah, I okay. I might even have to order me a t shirt too. I'll get you a t shirt, trust me. All I gotta do is send a design over to my uh my friend and she'll uh Oh good, good. I gotta adjust my seat. But uh, I'll send it over to my friend. She's got a cricket and she'll she'll print you out a shirt. Nice. Nice. I know you want that you want that orange uh, pumpkin head one. Hey, you know me, I'm the Halloween guy. Yeah, we'll get you one. I'll get you one of those. If they if we can celebrate Christmas November first, I can celebrate Halloween all November. Why not? Right? I did, by the way, a review this week. Ooh. Two of them actually. Um they'll be out this weekend, guys. Um but finally, I did the the rib sandwich. Oh, shiznit. Yeah, I wanted to I do was it. Gonna try it. I was going to try it because, you know, I I've had them. It. It's been a long time since I had them, but I was going to try it just because I, I never reviewed one on camera. But listen, if you get uh, one before, if you get one before, like this weekend, like this, like I would say Sunday, if you get one before Sunday, we'll see tomorrow. 
and you and you film a little tidbit, I can throw it in the video with me. All righty, all right. But cool. I'll tell you right now, it yes. I, and surprise, guys, it's going to be a first thing I've never done before in any of my reviews. Ever. Uh-oh. It's a score that I've never given before. So, um, I'm excited. I also did for National Chicken Sandwich Day, I also did a review. Um, I did that Hot Honey review with, uh, it was the Carl's Jr. slash Hardee's. I did their uh, Hot Honey Waffles Chicken Sandwich. <sighs> I so it, it it was. I can tell you right now, guys, just to give you a little preview. It was a very tiny sandwich, and I was very disappointed. I was, <laughs> I was like, I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> There's a place called uh, Up Top Cuisine here, and uh, they got a chicken sandwich. It looks like it rivals the king. Yeah. Ham bread with the hot honey hot. This one's honey hot, but oh, wow! Man, I can't wait to try. Get up there and try that. They had love- deep. They had a deep fried short rib meal, man. Man, that sounds good. It was crazy. Yeah, so if you can get out to Arby's and uh, get that rib sandwich. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, that's what you were talking about. I thought yeah. you were talking about the McRib. Oh, I've already reviewed that. I that's actually about the McRib. Yeah, guys, go in, go, go, go in the back uh, back catalog of uh, Penguin Eats. You'll see, you'll see the McRib review. That's what I thought you were talking about because I've said I people. two of them. No, people no, are honestly it. saying it's, been, it's the worst it was. It's been. It's McDonald's, and, and I've had it it's before. A banquet, it's a banquet pork meal, patty, whatever. <laughs> so that's what I think it is. I told that to my wife. I go, I go. yeah, Stephen told me that if you get the banquet pork pork patty <laughs> and and a nice long corn roll, corn dust and roll, right. add some pickles and some onions, and you're there. <laughs> now, if she's, a good, if she's a big fan, she probably said, yeah, right. And if she's not, she's probably said, yeah. I mean, she's seen that before. I mean, I know. Right? It's funny. Speaking of McDonald's, I actually have a hack for all our for all our fans. Oh, snap. I'm listening. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Do you like the Big Mac? I do. So I have a hack for the Big Mac. Um, so you, when you go to get your Big Mac, all right? Okay. Hold on, I, got, I wrote this down because I have to physically have to look at this. So you order a double cheeseburger. All right. Okay. You ask I'm already no, there. You ask for no ketchup, no mustard. Okay. You ask them to give you shredded lettuce, like add shredded lettuce and Big Mac sauce. Oh, yeah. And you have a Big Mac without the middle bun, which you don't need that extra bread anyways. And you have All a right. Big Mac without the middle bun for $2. That's, that's freaking ingenious. That's it. I saw it. I can't can't claim fame to it because I saw it off of TikTok. And I wonder if you can still do the whole custom thing. Because if I would, I'd take like the quarter pounder. <laughs> I'm a fat boy. I'd take the quarter pounder and I'd add extra patty with cheese, and just get that old shredded lettuce, the pickle, and the Big Mac sauce. The problem is they use different onions. Their oh onions yeah, they different. do they? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah they, you use the whole onions. Just remember I, when, I, when you I, get a Big I Mac. Guess, I go Sam's onion anyway. It's the same. It's the same patty. I, I'm with you. I'm with you there. Like when they oh, had the big, was it the big giant Mac or I forget what it was called? The big uh, Mac, yeah, yeah. The big. What is that? Fuck, what the hell? I can't remember what it was called. But they had those different Macs, and I used to love that because they used the quarter pounder meat with it. Yeah, yeah. And it was like, <laughs> are you using your coat as a holder? I am. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Accessorize. <laughs> <laughs> I'm big into multitasking, man. You, I, I got to be able to use everything. Like if I buy like, yeah, man. a pool for my kitchen, it's got to do more than one thing. <laughs> like them foodies. Yeah. I got to get one of them, man. Yeah. Um, but no, um, what was I talking about? Shit. Oh, oh, because of oh, the quarter meat. Mm-hmm. Dude, if you put quarter meat on a Big Mac, it is delicious. Ooh. But it's also $9. Oh, yeah. I, I, that it probably is expensive. I didn't even think about that. That's why I said they use the same meat. They they use the cheeseburger meat. The stuff you get a regular cheeseburger. Yeah, because it is it's flatter. Double. Yeah. Dude, there you go. I mean, if you want to, even if you added a patty, which is only a dollar, even if you added a patty on there and had three three beef patties That's on a there, triple, it, baby. On oh, pack, baby, a triple. <laughs> it still would be cheaper than the Big Mac. The Big Mac's like five six bucks something like that with just a sandwich. So, there's I a hack for you guys. Give it a try. Love that. 
And but, you, yeah, I think for, for fast food, when it comes down to just a regular cheeseburger, nobody beats – and simple, you know what I mean? Like something that pretty much everybody's got is Wendy's. You can, it's unbeatable for burgers. It is, but it depends who makes it, you know? like True, true. I've been ruined you gotta get a good staff by in Wendy's there. here. Yeah, I've been ruined by Wendy's here. They they hire just um, and listen. I know I broadcast a lot of my stuff here in Lebanon, and if you guys are people who work here at the Wendy's, do better. Yeah, I had somebody comment in my, one of my videos. I, I hear I, that about the places in, uh, up there in Hazleton too. Like the Popeyes is the worst. What's that? Well, the China jumbo, the jumbo China. Yeah, you told me about that. That China. Yeah, we talk about that a lot. Definitely, just if you, unless you got, unless you're pretty wealthy, don't go on a booty, the old booties place, freaking twelve dollars spaghetti balls. <laughs> it's not our spaghetti sandwiches, though. I had somebody comment in my video one time because I gave a bad score for a sandwich because they prepared it com completely, completely wrong. It was horrible. It was cold. It was terrible. And yo, I'm just gonna that, that just bumps the score down. I'm sorry. Yeah. You know, I expect freshness, and I don't expect well, especially at Wendy's. Well, the guy at the comment goes he, in the comment section. He's like, "You expect too much of these fast food places. What do you think they are? Fine dining?" I'm like, "No, they they. I used to work at a McDonald's, so I know how McDonald's has with their. They you have to prepare your food a certain time. There's wait times. There's this. There's that. And it, so everything comes out fresh as it, as it can be. It's not saying it's going to be the freshest, but it still has no. to be in the word of fresh. You know, and." Sometimes, like, our Taco Bell screws up a lot here. Our, our Wendy screws up a lot here. I don't know what it is. And it's like the waffle sandwich, all right? Um, yeah. That's probably, they probably just didn't make it correctly. And, again, that that, that counts in the score. The right. service is part of the score, too. And it's because absolutely. that's what they should be counted for. I'm sorry. I mean, I, I, I do give fast food a higher standard because you're feeding probably 80% of America. Right, <laughs> fast food is very consumed a lot by Americans. I don't care. I, who I say are. kind of like put it on a separate side. You know, I mean, it's, that's me personally because you know, what I mean, it's all varying depending on location. If yours is a better one, if yours is a worse one, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, okay, here's the product, but mine kind of screwed it up. But if yours didn't screw it up, it could have been a little bit better, or whatever. And and but I yeah, actually I, mean, I put that as a disclaimer in the videos too. I'm like, hey, listen. This is probably this would probably be better if it probably came I've out hotter. Yeah. Or this. yeah, I do that as a little disclaimer in there, but I also still pers pursue that because they do have people that come around and check that stuff. They do have like I just watched a video. I mean, I have to. I don't know if I can link. I might be able to link it in this video. I might link in this video for you guys for YouTube and stuff, and for Facebook. But um, I've been watching this series on um, KFC making their Ooh. comeback. Um, because KFC's really taking it in <laughs> in the old poop shoot lately. Um, but they're making a comeback, especially in the Europe. I did I thought it was the just Europe. my local one, dude, but evidently it's a hit nationwide. Was it was it was it uh Worldwide YouTube, actually. Was it the YouTube channel um Company Man? He does a lot of those like rise and falls and rise agains of different companies. Oh well this I don't know. This one came from the UK. It's about the UK. Oh, okay, I'm not I'm not sure. And uh, it shows company man like they I don't know I, I, I there's only like three or four episodes now but um I'll I'll put the link in the, in the description I'll even send it to you later if you want to see it oh yeah um, but you know it's, I mean? it's, it's it was a good doc it was like an hour long so it was a very good documentary each episode is like an hour long so they're trying to make a comeback and stuff but they have standards and they're just like McDonald's the same way they have standards too yeah and they always want their people to live up to those standards there you go so. You know, and I, they hire mostly young kids, and that's that's fine. There's nothing. Yeah, wrong. there's nothing wrong with them hiring young kids, but the young kids need to keep up with the standards too. Yeah. It's all about management, I think. I think it's all about management. It absolutely is. The more man, you know, what I mean, the more enthused you are. To, yeah, you, you actually want to go and do that job. Hey, I got a good team. Infectious really spirits and all that, you know. Sorry about that. Ladies and gentlemen, I also reviewed a little bit. I, well, I wouldn't say reviewed. I researched um, what you were talking about today about Grand Theft Auto, how they upgraded yeah. their graphics in their older games. That's weird. Yeah, because you know, I was looking. I'm going right off of their 
their uh their website where they have their information it's like they kind of pussyfoot around with phrasing and terminology like it's not a direct remake but it's not a port because the I, somebody had said it was a port, but the ports are, you know, I mean, the, the direct copies of the old games directly on there. Like, that's what the old ones were, the ones that are on your tablet. But they said that they took those off the store, Xbox and PlayStation. Thank God I got them when they were dirt cheap. I think I got the whole bundle for like 20 bucks. I digress. Yeah. Um, it's kind of shaky. I looked at the renders, though. The renders look a lot better. They really do, because... That old style they, was very blocky. It was very I heard blocky. that the, the, the three got the worst of the brunt end. I heard Vice City was looking beautiful. And San Andreas, yeah, was good too. I think that must have been the best one because they put that on Game Pass. San Andreas is the best one. Three is good. It's a good story. It's a good mafia story. But San Andreas is the best. You can that do fucking everything in that game. First, How about that hot coffee out exploit? Oh, yeah. Lord. That ain't there. Oh, I should. Come they had on. another guy, uh, Phil, you know, the one-armed man in um, Vice City? Yeah. If you recall, his shirt had a, a rebel flag on it. They took that off and uh, put a skull. It's a skull now or whatever. Really? Oh, come on, man. Just keep it the way it is. I understand that, you know, you got to yeah, come up with I mean, times and be more PC. I get it. But, but like, the hot, coffee some, shit, I understand. the hot coffee shit was cool. Like, I love that. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Well, you can still can have girlfriends out. I just don't think it has that exploit. Ah, uh, yeah, but that was fun. Did you ever do that? Uh, I don't remember doing it. I don't. I did. I did. It was fun. It was a lot of fun, dude. It, listen, I mean, don't... I got hookers. Don't get me wrong, but that's I what I'm wondering. The they still have hookers in the game? I don't know. I know it's... that the the AI is pretty dumb. Still, like it's it. You can tell they're PS2. You know what I mean? Like. And PCs and like Xbox One, Xbox X, I'm just saying, you know, PS4, PS5, whatever. Whatever you play, whatever piece of plastic you're on here, PC or whatever. The, Switch. The, 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 yeah, that too. I heard that was the rougher one, but yeah. um, You could tell like they kind of like run into the wall. Ooh, <laughs> you know, like food guy, you know what I'm saying? Listen, I don't like even oh, like PS2. even in Grand Theft PC. Auto 5, for instance, in Grand Theft Auto 5. Uh, you know, they have hookers that, that bang in the car. You can, oh, if, that's, you zo- yeah, you if you zoom into services. them, you can see them going down. Like, okay, but you're you're gonna give you're gonna take out that exploit where you know he's banging his girlfriend. Like, to buy the game alone, you had to have a parent to buy that game. Like, to buy that. those games, you had to have a parent. Like, it, what happened to that? What happened to that? Did they just get rid of those types of uh, ratings because they never worked. <laughs> I think the first M-rated game that I was ever able to like buy f- legally was uh, I, w- I want to say it was the first Doom. I'm trying to for prepare. Xbox. The, you know the uh, yeah the, the P- what the uh, the computer one, the one where you had to use the flashlight and switch simultaneously back to the gun. Oh yeah. Yeah. I get the steel book and everything. I do believe. I'm trying to see the f- the most violent one of my favorite games. In fact, I think oh there Postal. it is. Manhunt. Oh man! Oh my god, dude! Manhunt. So it's good. Really another one of them. So good. Can you imagine a higher graphic of that game? <sighs> yeah. Oh man, dude! People say bully, but yeah, no nah, bully. I, still... I, I I I also like a major um. Bully's modern... good. A, a, a modern day remake of Warriors. Warriors. That Come was a good game. Oh, that was yeah, a man. good game. Steering, stealing car stereos. Yeah. <laughs> Hard though. Yeah. Um. I liked. Um. I'm telling you, dude. Manhunt was so great, especially when you had to, like the plastic yeah, bag. Yeah. You put the plastic bag over dude's head and then beat the shit out of their face, and they yeah, would choke on their. And then you cinched up the bag. Some of the sickest their- kills in that game. Ooh. Yeah, man. Yeah, and, and dude, pig face was scary as hell. That pig was face. scary. That was a scary boss. It was a very scary boss, and a, a good game. I, you know, Psyops they, was a good game too that came around that era. They brought that out. Actually, what's funny is they brought Manhunt out actually for the PS4. You can actually download it. Re- oh yeah, yeah, cool. yeah. See, that's the ports. You know what I mean? Like yeah. Manhunt port. And that, you know, my favorite was probably Max Payne. Max Payne was good. Didn't they have like a vi- uh, movie of that? Didn't they they did. Um, 
what's his what's his name? Um, your man with the pizza stand, Mark. Uh, Dur- you have Mark Ruffalo. What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> no, um, Mark. Uh, Mark. Oh my Wahlberg. God, so, Wahlberg. Yeah, Wahlberg. he was a he was a uh, Max Payne. Yeah. Um. Speaking of fun, it's funny you just said Mark Ruffalo. I guess we can get into Disney Plus stuff today. Yeah, dude. So I'm disappointed. I I, I texted Duke so, and I told him like I'm disappointed. Some of the stuff for for Disney Plus was cool, and the other stuff was like, "Where's my Obi Wan Kenobi trailer?" Like that's what I want. Like they gave us something, but it was like some girl talking the whole time with you and McGregor sprinkled into it, and it was just like, what? This is not what you promised. You promised a remember the, inf- the infamous troll on YouTube that would use the ice, the the uh, you and McGregor Obi Wan Kenobi mask. It was his name was Ice Shadow on you. <laughs> <laughs> he would always do response videos. New rock stars didn't even do like a thing over it. I, I went over to New Rock Stars to see if uh, maybe they would have like, like did it East because they do an Easter egg thing. They did one for the book of uh, book of Boba Fett, but other than that, they didn't. Oh do shoot, anything. I don't have to watch that one. Yeah, they, they didn't do anything else. And I was upset. I was like, "Us." Oh. So if new rock stars are even touching this, that sucks. But um, I'm I really s- excited for X Men '94. Is it '94 or '97? Brand new episode. Brand new episodes. That's cool. I wonder if they'll touch on the '92 series, the comic series. That was a good series. Do you believe? That was a good series. Um, they did. Um, they also Fun. talked about there's going to be a Cars TV show, which is thank God, yay. I'm Cars excited TV. about that. Huh. Yeah, you know, they Cars, still got the cable guy, the movie, the movie car. Yeah, Katow. Of course, I know cable both guy. actors. It's but it's starring Lightning McQueen and um Mater. Oh, that's some cool shit, man. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be cool. Kids, uh, kiddos will love that. Oh, uh, it's gonna be awesome. I think that's cool. I love those movies. Um, Moon Knight. Of, Moon Knight. We did see that. We saw a little snippet of She Hulk. Oh man! With verification that Mark Ruffalo is gonna be in in that, so that's cool. Hulk, yeah. See, I thought they thought that they thought that uh, Daredevil would be in there because they uh, showed Miss Jennifer. Marvel. Oh, really? That was cool. They didn't show any of her like special abilities, but they showed her in the suit, which was cool. Um, they showed, uh, Con, yeah, yeah it, it looks cool. And uh, I think I'm really excited for Hawkeye, which is coming out at of the end me of this too. month. I know I am. This month it's coming oh, out. Oh, so, shit, yeah, November 19th, isn't it? No, it's twenty uh, November 29th. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I'm actually kind of excited for that. The, oh, I am. So yeah. far, the, Disney has slammed those Marvel TV shows. They're really good. Like, they're actually really good. All of them are. You know, people slam that uh, Marvel's Avengers game, but I know I haven't put... I didn't put the work in. Like, some people put that It got better with in. time. Yeah. It's not terrible, dude. Like, if you like, like, The Division or if you like Destiny where there's games where I you don't grind... Play, I don't think... I, I think my biggest problem is right now is I just don't want to play as Miss Marvel. Like, I'm stuck in the mode where I'm playing as Miss Marvel the whole time. I don't yeah. want to play as her the whole time. Like, that's... Dude, when I was able to switch over to the Hulk, that was awesome. I was like, this is this is awesome. Like, he's just super OP. I was like, this is great. This well, is great. when you can switch, you can switch over to the Hawkeye. Iron Man was really hard to play. As. He was, dude. How was not it? Thor was fun, though. I liked playing as Thor. It, it's, I don't think it's I even cool. got to Thor yet. And nobody plays as Black Widow. That's just stupid. <laughs> I, yeah. No offense yeah, against yeah, her yeah, character. Yeah. She's cool and all that, but come on. What's Play her Black super Panther. power? You know? I kind, of, I kind of want to take my, co- my copy of Xbox One and trade it. Well, just because it's on Game Pass, but... Take that extra money and get it on PlayStation just for Spidey. Like he's gonna be an, ex- but I don't know how long. You know, who knows? This, who's to say if that like will be a timed exclusive and that Xbox will eventually get Spider Man. But then again, they got, my thing is keep it tight lipped. My thing is instead of doing that, you should just keep on with uh, just you know, if you have a PS4, I, I want to play Miles Morales. I Dude, yeah, my buddy was just teasing me he was playing the other one finished up the i i bought the freaking spider-man game of the year edition last year and never even touched it oh man you gotta I, play I that need, that's uh, one of my oh, favorite beat, fucking games to play i um i beat it and i have to touch i have to play the dlc that's all i have to touch on that oh yeah that's what i'm working do all on of the dlc that's the only thing i need but that, what a fantastic story but i don't like how they kind of recasted Sp- spider-man to make him look like more tom holland i think yeah. i've said that in here but 
one of those things I snubbed my nose at, but I was okay with it. You know, I was okay with it because it's just it's like whatever. It's whatever. It's a good game. It really is. And really they want them to make them look good. like more canon to the series of the MCU than go for it. But I really think I thought they had something. To... Well, then maybe just give him his own split off, you know, because he was a good actor, too. You know I know the mean? second one looks good, too. Like, the, on, like his emotion with Venom. Aunt May and his... Oh, I can't... Venom better be playable. But, but I mean, I... his emotion with Aunt May in that scene, it's just... It wasn't... Oh, that was... It that wasn't was the same thing. on the other one. Like, the first guy, like, I had to cry. Because that, you know, this... Damn, man. Hits you hard. The Aunt May like, stuff was sad, dude. That was a sad scene. I'm like, oh, shit. Aunt May's gonna die? You what? were my hero. And then that was, was like, with what? the, you know, Doc Ock. And she knew that he was Spider-Man. That's crazy. Right. Mm. Well, at what point do you gotta, like, say, yeah, they probably have to at least suspect something. I can't wait for a Spider-Man movie. All oh, right. dude, we're getting we're itching we're itching closer to it, and I, I just can't wait. I just can't wait. The That's thing that sure. the thing that pisses me off though right now mm -hmm. is that Disney's going back on what they started. They were like the first to start streaming straight to streaming, right? And like now Disney's kind of like going back off, and they're not giving you that option no more. That's not that? even the Spider-Man shirt. Der. That's not. So I need space. That was my alien shirt, but yeah. Oh, there you go. I'm not a spider, Mark. Oh, I'm so ready for that freaking movie, man. I'm I am so too. ready for that movie. I am too. I, I just cannot wait for it. It's going to be so great. I can't wait. It's going to be so much fun to watch. Probably going to take the sun. Uh, speaking of going to the movies, my first movie back in like two years, I'm going to go see Ghostbusters. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. Very excited about that. I know we're switching things up a little bit. We said we we're going to do 1, 2, and uh, 16. We might do that as a side little thing and put that on the Monday Madness. But we'll have definitely be reviewing. I've seen them all. So all I've seen them so many times. It's not yeah. funny. I don't think so. I've ever seen the second one. I don't know. We can't, can't do that. Not with Red Notice and um, what's the other one? What was the other one I said? Red Shang Notice. Shang-Chi is my Shang-Chi. Shang Shang I've been waiting for Shang-Chi since August. We've been we've been telling y'all we've been going to do Shang-Chi so, for a long now time. Now that it's so. available, I'm totally watching that. <laughs> Absolutely, dude. That might even good. watch it twice. We'll see. You yeah. know? I've, se I've seen a... And once Eternals comes to... I saw a cam, and I, it was just it was just horrible to watch. No, I, I can't like, do I can't a cam. Do I can't do it. I can't do it. I, I tried it. I was like, I can't. I tried Free Guys. I, did, I watched Free Guys at Cam, but other than that, I was like, I can't watch this. Yeah. I can't watch this. Same thing Same thing with Venom. I think Venom I did as a Cam, too, and it was just horrible. I actually had to, I actually was able to find a good copy of it, but it was hor It was hard to do. It was See, just the pa tam pandemics killed it. So you getting in anything this weekend? You doing anything special this weekend? Uh, let's see. I'm going out tomorrow shopping. Oh, I can talk about that. Um... Just this past week, I, and you know, this is for our PA guys, and I don't know how far Wegmans goes, but I went to a Wegmans, I got a Wegmans store, and I was in there with my jaw just dropped the whole time. I'm like, is this your first time at a Wegmans? Yes. Oh, really? I blew, oh, I yeah, Wegmans. I popped my, I popped my Wegmans sherry. It was fucking awesome. <laughs> like I'm in there, I'm like, they have a pizza oven. Okay, I'm sold. There's a sushi chef. Okay, I'm sold. What? There's a fishmonger. Okay, I'm sold on that. <laughs> Their like, subs oh, are good. Have you ever butcher? had your subs? No, I, I didn't even know they had that. I didn't get yeah, that far. <laughs> they got the like the football football shaped breads, I call it. But the king of the football shaped bread around here is Joe's on West End, my friend. I like the East End too. But don't get me wrong, but there's something special. You know, special about the one on West End. I got I actually got some sushi from Wegmans. I had I should have did it. I should. You know, a, I got I got to try that on. I think that'd be interesting because I got I, I can't a, really get into it. I don't know. I got Wasabi. a volcano sushi roll. It was very I hear good. People do that. Like, I heard this sweet, really good it's like sweet chili sauce on it. With I hear like between that and the uh, California roll, I heard was another one to get into. It was so good. I dude, uh, dude, I got this pineapple mango salsa from Wegmans. Oh yeah. I and love that. Shit. It was just absolutely banging. They and got like, good home they got good um store brand tortilla chips too. There was another thing too that you would probably show respect for too. They had good cheese. Oh yeah. Really good cheese. And not just like not just like that 
Cracker Barrel type cheese. I'm talking like they got They're that brand. bougie cheese. Oh, that, they, they got, got that bougie cheese. cheese. Yeah, they were there like cutting it with a wire type cheese. Yeah. They got the super bougie cheese. I was happy. I was in there like a kid in a candy store. I'm like, yeah, I'll take some of that. I'll take some of this. And next thing I know, my bill started to add up. <laughs> it gets there. But they used to have, um, well, before fucking COVID silly stuff. I wish one day, you know, one day we'll go back to the regular. It's, it's coming. But uh, they used to have, you know, food. They used to have the best Chinese food. I didn't so see good. any of that. I, in fact, I didn't even explore the whole store, and I'll probably be doing that tomorrow. That's probably what I'm going to be doing is exploring that whole store. Even Hell more. yeah, dude. Get it in there. But what was cool was, yeah, they had that wine, beer. They had everything. The Duke's dude, favorite cheese is up at Wise's, though. They had it's everything there. Cheese. Everything that you ever wanted was there. It was just, I was just amazed. It was huge. They got good soups, too. I haven't, again, I didn't experience that yet. Dude, the <laughs> like, rotisserie chicken. I didn't see that either. <laughs> wow i yeah it, it's so big like I, I only had a certain amount of time so i was there for work and uh because i had to pick up a few things for work and the bakery what's cool is the hotel above above me where above where the wegman was i parked a tesla up there to charge mm-hmm. i walked in as as kind and curtis i said hey listen man i parked my tesla here um it came up on this public charging app of charge point i said I, i'm 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 charging Please don't tow my car. Right, and they're like, right. no, it's a public charger, so you're good. I was like, all right, cool. So I went down Hells the way. Yeah. And it was it was a fucking hill that I had to go down like this. And, and I was like, all right, cool, going down. But I didn't think about going back up. And I just was so amazed at Wegmans. I bought so much stuff that those groceries almost gave me a heart attack taking them back up the damn mountain. Oh, snap. <laughs> back up the hill. So, But shout out to Wegmans. That's oh, I cool. love Wegmans, baby. I'm a, I'm a Wegman lover now. I, I Dude, I'm... Uh, I, t- I texted my wife. I was like, yo, because she always talked about it. I was like, all right, I totally love this store now. <laughs> because it has we get everything to, you need. We get, we get to check special Chuck up there for hamburger. We like to get know. that for the hamburger. They had the good brujut there. Oh, my God. The gabagool. The copacool. Yep, 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 yep. They had the good Well, they make, they make a sub. Now, this is the Duke's sub, ladies and gentlemen, okay? You're allowed three meats on the cold sub, so you got to get the turkey. <laughs> you gotta get the hot ham, and you gotta get the gabagool, okay? With the American cheese, light lettuce, light oil. That's enough. Salt and pepper. Well, so it's turkey and the gabagool. Yes, sir. You can have three meats on three different proteins. Gotcha. I just I just copied that. <laughs> that's my hot. Yeah, that's. I'll my get that to go. <laughs> I think you'll love their subs. Yeah. I have to find it. Like like I said, I got to like. The, and you'll like the, that too because you like the hot. But I don't mind. The ghoul creeps up on you. I like the um, was the ham cappy, the ham cappy. Yes, sir. A ham capicola. Mm-hmm. I like a good Italian sub too, bro. That's nice. Like not not like this, not like the like you go to Subway and get an Italian. That's bullshit Italian sub. No, because right they got pastrami and then they got the uh, yeah. They yeah. got the prosciutto. You got the prosciutto. Yeah, that that. No, so I I don't, dude. I don't really consider Subway as as like a good sandwich place at all. I didn't know. I mean, if I went like it, like are they still the... using yoga mats for hot dog buns, <laughs> whatever there was? <laughs> I don't... Hey, wait, Subway. If you want to prove yoga us wrong, mats. you can send I know us what a you're free... talking about too. Yeah, man, you can send us a free sub. That's all right. We'll give, we'll give it a review. We'll give it a yeah. If you try. want to sponsor us, it's okay. I'm sorry, I just talk want... shit. I'm if you sorry. want to send us a sub to review, and just we got to do Larry Cable. I think. I'm sorry, Subway. <laughs> Subway, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Subway. I've seen the light. I don't see it happening, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just do better. That's all you gotta do is do better. You were awesome when you first came out. Now it's just like, ugh, you know. It's Could right. you imagine getting a cheesesteak there? I'm sorry, Blimpy's better. You know, oh, <laughs> Quiznos way better. <laughs> yeah. the, the dancing rats, ah, Quiznos. Toasty, toasty, toasty. Hey, stops. Oh my god. Now we're going way back. We got a pepper bar. <laughs> we're not old by any means, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're our, kids are, our kids fans out there are like, what the hell's a Quiznos? <laughs> right? <laughs> I used you to drop my, there, right? uh, no. I dropped my Blockbuster card there before and left. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it was my West Coast video card, dude. What do you mean? <laughs> 
West Coast video. That was my joint. <laughs> Uh, I okay. watched freaking Beatles rock band from. All right, yeah. you, you said movie card. That's transition to our that movie. Is. Let's do it. Let's do it. We watched two movies. One was called Stripes. Let's get into the review of well, Stripes. Let's do stripes. Hell yeah. How about What'd you, you take think? A... This is your first one. Let you drew this one because you've never seen. Stripes. All right, yeah. So uh, I've seen Stripes multiple times. We got Bill Murray. Uh, we got a star-studded cast: Bill Murray, John Candy. Um, what's the guy's name? Uh, Lloyd. Ramus, Harold Ramus, Harold Ramus. I'm Ramis. sorry, yeah. Um, story about a guy on his down out on his luck, lost a girlfriend, walked out on the job of a taxi driver. You know, he's got a buddy. He's also kind of, you know, Harold Ramus and Bill Murray. You know, Harold's kind of down on his luck in this one. He's teaching English to um, foreign foreign uh individuals and stuff like that um i don't think he's in a position to teach english i don't understood that one what, what he was uh english teacher or something like that or, or i don't know i think he was a um language teacher okay okay, okay. He was teaching language. they, they kind of like glanced over but uh, you know these guys like i lost my job um Wife, the girlfriend walked out on me. They're watching TV and they see the you know commercial for joining the army, and it's like, at this point, why not? What else do I? What else do I got? You know, I'm almost thirty years old. I got nothing going on. And the guys, you know, Lloyd's like, can you even do five push-ups? <laughs> but, so yeah, they they you know they I mean they go they join the army, and then it's kind of like a um. What do you want to say? Like the special with the B troop, but kind of like, kind of they threw them in too. It's kind of like a special of a, their troop was like a Hogan's Heroes kind of thing. You want to say? Yeah, like a screw up. National, I mean, a right. police academy of. Yeah, yeah police mean, academy. Like, yeah, exactly. In fact, this this movie has police academy vibes. To be honest, it does. It really does. It really yeah. does. Has very good police academy vibes. Yeah, I don't know if it was like directed said, by the same person. They but... might have been. I'm gonna check that. You know, Bill's a slacker. These guys are slackers and stuff like that, and they end up like having to crunch and crush for this. Um, this Ivan test Reckman coming. is the one who uh, all right yeah. directed this movie. I'm trying to see what other else stuff that Ivan Reckman has done. But yeah, that you know they um they have oh. to crunch for this, or they're gonna have to repeat uh, basic training over again. Okay, so do you want to hear all these movies? I, yes, I'm, sir. Dude, I'm, I'm going to get shot for this, by the way. Uh, he directed Meatballs, Stripes, all the Ghostbusters movies, Twins, Kindergarten Cop, Dave, Junior, Animal House, Beethoven, oh, wow. well, that Space Jam, oh. Private Parts. Private so, Parts. Yeah, I apologize to you guys. Please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't start me. It's a wonder he didn't do Porky's. <laughs> This gave yeah. me Porky's vibes too. When's the last time you seen tits in a movie? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, damn. I was gonna ask you about that. I'm like, um, yeah, yeah. It just kind of popped out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't and against he, it. By and name, he was but a little yeah. creeper too. He's like, oh yeah. yeah oh yeah, yeah. freaking think about. He's like, he's like, oh, bend over. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. 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 Well, yeah. Sergeant. Oh yeah, and, and then John yeah, who, Candy. Who was that? Because. Do you know who that actor was? Because John Larroquette. It seems like I've seen him everywhere, but I can't. You know, I'm John pretty... Larroquette. That's who okay. that is. He was in. Um, hold on, I got other things that he was in. I'm trying. I'm, I blank on people. I figure it was. Him. He looks familiar, right? Is John Larroquette. Hold on. But uh, yeah, I mean, but yeah, they a... end up doing so good on this test that that you know, I mean, the government wants them to take this, you know, special ops mission in Italy. Was it Italy? Yes. So. Yeah, man. Where's John? Hold on. I have it on the tip of my tongue here. I got to find some of the stuff that John Larroquette did. Oh, here it is. Oh, well, John Larroquette's famous for Night Court, I'm pretty sure. Oh, Night Court. Yeah, yeah he's yeah, very yeah, famous okay. for Night Court. Yeah, Night Court, was, he was super famous in that. You know, Boston Legal, he was in that. Uh, trying to see. There's other things that I've seen him in. But Night Court is probably the one. Meatballs too. He was in that. Richie Rich. He's in a Richie Rich movie. Oh, okay. Yeah, that. Richie Rich. Also in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. 
the oh yeah that, well, the, well that's funny because you know the one in the upcoming one here the one we're going to review next the one guy was in um 20, texas chainsaw 2013 i mean what's fantastic is is this movie had bill murray it had harold ramus and john candy and those three right there that if you just had those three that's a star-studded cast. But then there was other ones like Bill Paxton was in this. There was other movie. Um, I'm trying to remember the one guy he was in. Um, uh, hold on again. I get. I, I apologize. My, I blank every time I go for actors nowadays. I feel you. I, every time, every time I go for actors. Um, hold on, where's he at in here? Judge Reinhold. I don't know if you ever know. Yeah, Judge Reinhold. Reinhold. Judge Reinhold was in Bill, uh, was in all the Beverly Hill Hill uh, Beverly Hills Cop movies. Oh shit! Yeah, he was in all those. Dag blasted Beverly Hills yeah, Possum Shank. The no, 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 no. Beverly Hills Cop, not the Beverly oh. Hills Hillbillies. The cop, um, the Beverly Hills Cop. The <sighs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I got you. Yeah. What the fuck was I thinking? Yeah, what were you thinking? He also was in Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Oh, that's a good movie. That's a good Gremlins, classic. And he was in the Santa Claus trilogies. He was in all those movies. Damn. Yeah, Eddie Murphy. He was in them with Eddie Murphy. Oh, okay. yeah. Duh. He, I forget his character in there, but he he played the quirky one. He was the quirky one. That was Mister Do Gooder of of it. But I always loved him, especially especially in the Santa Claus movies. He plays the great. He plays great. He has a great character in the Santa Claus movies. He plays a psychiatrist in there. Oh yeah. But this, I mean, just having those three alone, you know, John Candy, Bill Murray, and Howard Ramis right there. That's a star-studded cast. And the story was not that bad. Like it was no, a very it was a good, good story. Uh, uh, it was up by your street bootstraps, kind of. Yeah, it was basically like these these screw ups, you know, and you're actually trying to root for them to win, you know, like you're rooting yeah. for them to 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 do good. So it's, it's definitely a from zero to hero movie. Yeah, and it's it's a funny feel good movie. It's it's a slapstick type comedy, you know, oh, Bill sure. Murray type comedy, you know. So, mm-hmm. I I love this movie. I watch it on the reg. I've watched it a lot, so I know. Ver- I always thought that RV was cool. That's all I have to say. Definitely. I was like, yo, can I, can I wanted that RV so bad. I thought that was great. Um, it, it, this also reminded me of, um, uh, it, it kind of almost reminded me of almost like a, a parody of Full Metal Jacket almost. Like I got yeah, the like Full a, Metal Jacket type vibes. Like a scary movie, you know what I mean? Uh, Do you know the full, you ever see Full Metal Jacket? Oh yeah, I mean like it would be like a parody movie of it. Kind of like a, It kind of was a parody of that uh, movie. Unserious, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because you know you had the sergeant who was like up his ass the whole time, and yeah, you know, and always picking on the one guy. You know what I'm saying? So, riffed him in the gut. Yeah, it was. This is this is a very funny movie. It's definitely watchable. It's on Netflix. So I do tell everybody go ahead and watch it now. You know, and uh, what's your what's your rating? What's your rating for this? Ooh, I think this is one of those classics. It's, it's, it's definitely a high, it's a high one for me. It's rewatchable. Absolutely. I I have to give it a nine. I'm going for a nine. Yeah, this is a this is a nine five for me because it's yeah. uh it's it's definitely a rewatchable it's definitely a rewatchable movie. Oh absolutely real. Yeah. I mean it's it, it's, I'd watch that it's again. one of those ones that's that stands a test of time and just keeps ticking. Mm-hmm. I was wondering how you would see this because it's um, it's not like our modern cin- cinematography like we have now. I t- kind of like both of these movies are definitely not PC, as it were. Yes and no. I mean, right. you have to understand the 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 terminology and the the whole culture of being in the army and and you know the the military services. You know, so you look good, you look fine. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's that's a, that's a thing. They they do a cadence. You know, that cadence is actually a thing. They even do that in yeah. not just military camp. I've seen that in police camps. I've seen that. Yeah. In, you know, so the, it's, it's you know it's 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 a thing. It's it's their own like brotherhood, sisterhood, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah. You're fire. 
let's get a little bit more serious though. Let's talk about the next movie, The Outpost. I'll take I'll take the reins here. Um, you go for it, brother. I was a little skeptical of this um, at first mm-hmm. because I'm like, I've never heard of this before. I've never even heard of this scenario. If you don't know what it is, it's about the uh, combat outpost in Ketting, Afghanistan. No, no, Cam- Camdesh. 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 Remote combat, Kenning, deep. De- okay, yeah, it's Cam- Camdesh. Battle of Camdesh is what it's most famous for. Uh, it's uh, become the bloodiest American engagement in the Afghani war. In 2009, with Bravo Troop 3-61 CAV became one of the most decorated units in the 19-year conflict. So, this was an intense movie. It was a little boring at first, but also once you once you got into it, though, it was like, how do I put it? It was like, damn, that sucks because it was the, basically a crater <laughs> surrounded yeah. by mountains, and they're being attacked by the Taliban like almost every day. And they also have to worry about the villagers, keeping them happy. And it sucks. I just have to say, it sucks to be like, um, it sucks to be like uh, somebody in charge of that battalion because, um, yeah, they, you, you got dead. That's how it was. Or you got shipped out. You know, it's it was, yeah, that kind of sucked. It was, yeah. I felt for them people. That did this. Um, the cast was really good. Yeah, let's talk about the actors in this movie. Scott Eastwood, man. Um, that's Clint Eastwood's son. Uh, yeah. He was in other movies like Pacific Ring, Rim Ups, Uprising. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Wrath, Wrath of a Man. Was he the um, one that was in uh, Texas And the Chainsaw? Longest Ride. No. All right. Um, that's the other guy. Yeah, it, what's funny is that we're, we're going to get to that. Orlando Bloom was in this too, which oh, was yeah, cool. Oh, yeah, shit, Orlando Bloom. And Milo Gibson, who is Mel Gibson's son. Wow, I didn't know Yeah, so you got that. two legends of acting. They're spawned. Second generation. <laughs> yeah, it was very cool to see that. And what's funny was is every time Scott Eastwood would turn to the side... Dude, you saw his dad every time. And I was like, dude, dad looks just like his father. Like, he looks just like his dad. But right. uh, I loved his character in this in this movie. I thought it was awesome. Uh, this movie is just like, just great. Just a great movie. Good cinematography. Way to document. Um, didn't even, like, tell you what they had their medals until, like, the end of the movie. So you know exactly what each one got. And each yeah. one had their own little story, which was kind of cool too. But it was very intense. Like it started slow and then got intense. And yeah. Very, very cool movie. And then by the end of this movie, you got I totally was rooting for the United States. I'm like, right. go, kick the ass, let's go. You know? What'd you think of this? It wasn't my cup of tea. I couldn't say it was a terrible movie by any means, but it was kind of like those Call of Duties back in the day where it's like, it's all great, but I wouldn't get to the shooting. I'm going to blow shit up. Blow but, you know up. what I mean? It's kind of like, it does remind you of like the Modern Warfare story. Yeah. Uh, you yeah, know I mean? Shit's rough over there. Shit's freaking crazy. Worse. It yeah. just does. Conflict. War, war never we changes. Say war. It, we don't really do wars anymore. We do conflicts. And the conflicts suck, you know? Yeah. I I, pers- I personally believe, not to get too political, I personally believe we were in these areas way too long than we had to be. Um, it, it's good that we went over there and helped out the people um, that needed help. And yeah. That's what's great about the United States and the people who serve. They're, they're, you're really helping people of the world, which is awesome. Not to mention for our freedoms, which is great. You know, so, you know, and you, but you have to go through a lot of bullshit. A lot of bullshit. There's a lot of bullshit that you got to go through, and it sucks. It really does. You got to see your friends get hurt. You got to see. A lot of the, you, I'm sure whoever's left has gotten some pretty bad. You have to uh, kill a man or a woman or, you know? or children. Like that's a dog. Dog, you know, I, I think one of the best they were getting bit is like you know, it's something to get shame for. Then they wanted retribution, it was a crazy situation. And this Look, is all real stuff, it's all based on a real event. You know, we should have watched the brothers, we should have watched that. 
that's a very good movie and shows you exactly what post-traumatic stress looks like yeah. and post-traumatic stuff. I like that that's, movie Hacksaw Ridge. That's a good movie too. That's yeah. a good movie. But being more modern, the brothers is more of a modern yeah. and shows you exactly what, like what a soldier goes through. Plus Tobey Maguire. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I think I might've seen that one as a matter Jake of fact. Hall. Jake Gyllenhaal. I'm pretty I sure I seen that. Yeah. It's a pretty brothers. good movie. But it shows you with that whole PTSD and stuff like that. It's crazy. Like, yeah. So I, you said you was not going to give us a score, correct? Yeah, I'd like to just say, uh, you know, because it's a real life situation. We're honoring the vet. So it's kind of like, you know. Yeah, well, well you know, I'll, I'll I'll decline for a score. I'll just tell people that you just just watch it. It's on Netflix. This is a good, mm -hmm. good movie. Um. It, I, I liked it. I liked it yeah, a lot. Yeah, go check it out. I thought it was a good, for sure, good true story movie, and definitely a great movie to watch. So kind of long though, kind of long in the tooth. It was long. It, it was a little tedious at first, but it got better with the action towards the end, and it it just was good. It was a good movie. I mean, to hey, watch. I'll say there's true definitely story. An, there's definitely an audience for this movie. You know, you like war movies. You like these kind of desert conflict ops movies. You're gonna like it. Yeah, no doubt about that. All right, well, let's get to promotions. You want to go first? To... You can go first on that one. Okay, well, I'm just going to tell people to join the Wicked Turtle Nation group on their Facebook page. Um, just keep that growing. I just saw we were, I think we're at 105, something like that. Let's, Ooh. Keep, let's, keep, let's keep it going. Let's keep it growing. It's, it's not it's not huge, but it's it's fun. And I, I tell everybody, and we've been telling, me and the Dukes have been telling everybody for this is a uh, no judgment type group. You can put anything you want in there. Just as long as it's nothing, it's like specifies in hate or bullying or anything like that. We don't, we don't really tolerate that. But, um, if you have some content, if you're a content creator, you have some content, that's good content. That's not, again, not hate, not, no, no hate. Um, put it up there. We usually always just clear everybody. And if it's really good, I'll, I'll highlight it in, in the group, you know, It'll be a highlight. So, Ooh, so when know. you go when you go on the group, like when you go on the group page, you'll see it it's right right at the top. Our, our boy the Kilowatt always posts something up there. Mister Blackwell always posts something up there. That's right. The Duke posts some stuff up there. I always I always share on there. So definitely uh, check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Um, I also would like to, for you guys to check out Rays, our sponsor. Um, go on go on the website. Go on repsports.com. Typing the code at the order code at the end of your of your order, Wicked Turtle, and you get fifteen percent off. That helps out the channel. That's uh, uh, that's that's one of the, one of the ways you can help out the channel. The other way is just to hit a follow or subscribe, and that helps out the channel. So if you're watching this and you're you just stumbled onto this, hit the follow, hit the subscribe. Well, yeah, man. We'll, we'll, we we thank you for for doing that. And that's like free. You don't have to buy anything or do anything. Just to click. You can also share this video too. That would be nice too if you give it a like, click the bell. Give us some know, reactions. Another thing depending you know, on what platform you're on. If you're on YouTube, like you know, subscribe, follow. If yeah, don't Spotify, forget that bell. Ding ding ding. Ding 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 ding. Ding ding ding. But no, um, uh, like I said, I already mentioned them in the beginning of the show. Uh, Jack's hard cider. I'll put them in the. I'll put them in the shout outs too. This is a good Hells stuff. Yeah. I've been drinking this for years. If you drink any type of alcoholic beverages, this is delicious. This is really good. Good hard cider. This one's peach, by the way, tonight. We're drinking peach. But uh, that's it for me. All right. Mine's is going to be, um, I, I'm not, I don't sure, I'm not sure if we put them in there, but the Facebook group 570 food group. I'm not sure if we put them in last week. We'll put them I in this week. Remember. We'll put them in as well. So, yeah. Um, and other than that, it's going to be some self-promotion here. I know. Yank, 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 the crank. But <laughs> narcissistic about <laughs> uh, I, I'm going to – there's going to be some content for you all this week. I'm going to be producing a Duke's Dive, another Duke's Dive, and another Duke's Mo uh, Monday Madness for sure. And um, it's a big weekend here. Duke's Dive is going to cover full gear, baby. Okay, I will make sure. Yeah, we're going to be covering full gear, so 
I'm uh, taking notes. <laughs> all right. <laughs> As the producer of his content, I take notes when he when he shouts out something. So I got to make sure that I put all these these shout outs in because sometimes I do miss them or I can't. They won't pull up on on Facebook sometimes. I feel so, yeah. So or the thing is, I think I have to like that that page too for it to pull up. It's weird. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I mean, Duke's Dive is is a good show if you're into wrestling. Uh, the Duke goes really in depth with each show, and it's not just a thing where he just reviews a show. He goes in depth to the nearest to fall. <laughs> yeah, I like to you know gives out some some match information if I can, you know. Big one coming up that's been built is uh, Kenny Omega versus Hangman Page. It's been at least three years in the making. I had the chance to check out um, um, this week's AEW. Um, I watched um, the Brian Danielson match. Oh, Brian. Yeah. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Rocky good Romero, dude. baby. Love that dude. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, we got, we're going to get some content got, going for you. What are we going to do for the, for the Monday Madness here, man? I got some movies. I got some movies. Oh, there you go. There you yeah, go. I got you, some. Uh, you said some music movie. too, so. Yeah, I got an album review. Yeah, well, you gotta give so, me yeah. that. I gotta give me that Rays review, dog, so I can throw that. Oh Rays yeah, up yeah, that too. Shit, I can film that here soon. I'll be home alone all day tomorrow. So. So do you have anything else? So you got uh five seven zero Duke's dive and Monday Madness. Anything else? That's about it for me, my friend. <laughs> let's let's end it right here. It's your boy, the Penguin. It's the Duke. And that's what's up. Blah, blah, blah. blah. Kevin Owens. Thank you for tuning in to Wicked Turtle Network Exclusive. Follow us on all social media. And also click the link tree in the description of this video. I also would like to take the time right now and welcome us as a brand new ambassador to raise energy drinks. Wicked Turtle has joined the hashtag Ray's Rebellion with Ray's Energy Drinks. Ray's Energy Drinks gives you fresh, which stands for focus, recovery, energy, stamina, and hydration, with giving you no crash. Ray's has zero sugar with electrolytes and BCAA aminos. So hashtag raise up and go to your local GNC or vitamin shop and pick up a can or go to repsports.com and order your raise energy drinks and other athletic supplements in bulk and type in order code wicked turtle for 15% off your order and that code will be in the description of this video